asking what now to heal the root causes of these knee problems and whatever they represent in such a way as to upgrade the standards of integrity to that which will actually work to manifest the divine plan. What now? It has to do with team players and what it means to be a team player. That's true. And that means to play even when we aren't the leader. That's true. And to do our best job when we aren't the leader. I feel someone in the pillar uh, who feels very close to me, Lucy, feels very much loose-like, and maybe it's me that I'm feeling, um, who hasn't found a good way to think about that, like hasn't actually found a helpful way to think about that, and even kind of has this icky feeling of like, well, what's the motivation for me to do really well if I'm not the leader? It could be like the feeling is, why do really well if the credit goes to somebody else? Or like, why do really well if I'm not going to be the one who... Benefits. Benefits. It could really be that. It could... Well, so that feels like selfishness. That's what that feels like. Mm Mm-hmm. So merging more deeply and clearing up selfishness for all of us. And now I hear big screaming sounds, um, kind of from all sides, above and below, bigger and smaller. And it's not really working to clear selfishness, but what I can do is find the vibration of selflessness and raise the vibration. Mm -hmm. And that might actually work. And now the screaming is really loud. Find the vibration of altruism, whatever that vibration is, wherever it is, whatever level it is, and start to raise the vibration of altruism in both quality and quantity. This presence above us, who just pulled up our channels when we reached up through the highest concentration of truth and integrity we were able to connect with right now, feels different than the one who was present at the beginning of the session. Mm -hmm. He feels higher and still feels like the highest concentration of truth and integrity we're able to connect with right now. And so my perception is that this is a good thing. Raise the vibration of altruism. It's still raising. Starting to clear. There is gunk that's clearing out of the knee. Um, sticky, cotton candy, fluffy, weird stuff in between. It looks like the bones are separated and in between them there's cotton candy. Clearing it out of the knee, raising the vibration of altruism and clearing it out of the knee. Raise the vibration of altruism, merge more deeply. And now we can move to just pulling the gunk out of the knee. And it feels like both knees. And just reaching up, handing up. Whatever that stuff was in the knee, whatever that selfishness feeling was, pulling it up, pulling it up. And there's big stuff coming out of the whatever the knee represents. A big, thick, heavy, and it feels like folded fabric or like old curtains. Handing it up, handing it up, and calling up to the videographers. Are you getting this? I want you to see this. Reaching down into whatever the knee represents. And now it feels like a lot of the cobwebby cotton candy energy has been cleared out, and a lot of the big ugly lumps have been cleared out and there's still something left to be dealt with and it looks like a long twisted wire or like a cable um, that comes in through a wall and points out and twists in a kind of ugly jagged way that makes me feel like it shouldn't be that way one way or the other. And it looks like a foreign object. They're saying, what do you know? Well, I know that that looks like a foreign object 
And uh, I, I know that the working theory when foreign objects are pushed into an energy body um, is that it's a gift of energy. And to use it as such, to say thank you for the gift of energy, and to pull in the foreign object and to recycle it uh, and use it for good. And in that way, whatever jerk pushed a foreign object into the energy body actually gave us a beautiful gift and that that's an effective way of dealing with it. Mm -hmm. That's right. So drawing the focus to this energetic structure twisted in th whatever the knee represents that looks kind of like a long twisted wire and grabbing a hold of it and it's very long and very thin and just starting to pull it into the energy body and there's sadness while I'm pulling in this wire um, and it, this feeling might be the feeling of someone who I know put this wire here and I can feel that the intention yes. wasn't good yes. uh, and that's a huge bummer because I would really like to believe that this person has good intentions but they don't but I know what it would look like if I put a wire somewhere that way and that's bad intentions this person's trying to mess it up yeah. And that's such a huge bummer. And I feel a lot of sadness about that, but I can see it's really clearly true and that helps. Mm. It's super long. What it looks like it's like when really, really long Ethernet cables are run from one end of a house to another end of a house. But longer, like this is the Ethernet cable that runs across town. Energy is energy, and what this is is a gift of energy. And it's a bummer that it was done with bad intentions. And it's a bummer that it was done by someone who we really want to believe has good intentions, but that doesn't make it. That doesn't make the truth not true. And the truth is, this was put here with bad intentions. This was put here to hurt, and I can see that. Well, actually, this might be evidence, it's possible that we shouldn't go changing the chemical makeup of this. Because so I realize it has their fingerprints all over it and it would be kind of crazy for me to destroy that evidence. See if Luz, way up high, could use it and then ask him to drag one end of it up and pull it up. That's a good question. Luz? Would you have any use for this? Oh wow, now one of the people in the room with him is starting to look Freak. really uncomfortable. Out. I think, yes, there's use yeah. for it. Would you be yeah. willing to reach down and grab this end? Just pull it up. Pull it up. There it goes, it's starting to go up. Don't let that guy leave that room. Yeah, don't let that guy leave that room. Actually, don't let anybody leave that no, room. No, nobody leaves. Lock all the doors. I think an investigation is really needed. Denounce that guy, whoever yeah. he is, that guy Whoever there. that guy is, that guy did it. And that other person probably helped him. And that other person that knew other about person it and didn't do anything. Yeah. And that other person was also somehow involved. And like that whole end of the table. Yeah, yeah that's about true. It. It's like the Christ presence end of the table. That's what it feels like. Yeah. It's like the Christ, the familiar Christ presences. We're all in on some... Gross really plan. Gross plan. To true. maintain the status quo, probably. Which would make sense. Which would make That's sense. That's true. What now, in order to heal the root causes of the knee problems and whatever they represent, in such a way as to upgrade the standards of integrity to that which will actually work to manifest the divine plan? I feel some small thing that needs to be addressed and what this feeling is is like the feeling uh, that I feel right before I need to say I'm sorry about something it's that feeling of needing to say I'm so sorry I'm sorry I didn't do what is mine to do is kind of the feeling right. I'm sorry I super dropped the ball there I'm sorry I pretended the problem would go away. I'm sorry I pretended the problem could go away. Uh, I'm sorry I let that happen. I'm sorry I let that happen. It might be Black Wolf. Oh, that feels true. I'm sorry I let that happen. 
Mm-hmm. And I messed that up, and I'm sorry, and I dropped the ball. It does feel like Black Wolf. Yeah. And I can see Black Wolf's face now. Mm-hmm. It's okay. What are you going to do now? That's true. Making mistakes happens all the time to all of us in an almost continual stream. And then the question becomes, what do we choose to do about it? You seem to be trying to turn this into some kind of hypothetical question. That was a real question. What are you going to do to make it right? Oh, that's true. That is a real question. What are you actually going to do specifically in this situation to make it right? That's true. It's an actual, specific question. I don't hear him. I don't think he's thought it through. That's what this feeling is. It's like, oh geez, I don't know. I don't know. Well, think it over and come back with something specific. He feels willing to do that. That doesn't feel like an angriness or an unwillingness. Mm -hmm. It actually feels like he hadn't thought about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 